everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. In this video I will be showing you how to uh, set up a good campaign um, but this is not an original idea and originally came from a German guy uh, named Martin Rutgerling and uh, he has uh, showed us how to create a very good uh, campaign setup in his marketing festival. Uh, upon which um, Search Engine Land has actually created a very nice tutorial. Um, so he has written the tutorial based on uh, the original guy's video, which explains very nicely how to set things up. Now, for the people that don't like to read too much and prefer to watch a video, I've decided to create a video to show you how to set up uh, this campaign based on these two uh, articles. So what we first want to do is create the campaigns. You can do this by going to add a shopping campaign. Let's go a little bit and refocus. There we go. Um, so we will call the first one shopping and we call this generic. We assign our country and then we set the campaign priority to high. The reason uh, that we want to set this to high is that this, the, the highest level is going to be uh, shown first to the settings in Google when they display a product listing. So this one will be filtered first, then if it cannot find uh, or there's because there's a negative keyword, it cannot uh, associate this campaign with that search term, it will go to the next level, which is medium. If uh, then uh, nothing can be found, it goes to the low one. So that's why if high is going to be generic, the medium one is going to be the branded search terms and then low is going to be the product ID. Now this type of setup is not appropriate for everybody if there's no differential between uh, generic keywords and exact match keywords. Um, so this is a setup that is designed to target the, the high converting keywords which is most likely the exact keywords if you are having products that they are uh, highly focused on uh, brand awareness and also the ID. So when we have uh, selected high we simply go and set a default bid there we go and save and continue. Now I've not set up a billing on this one but no matters uh, we will just set up later. Um, so that creates our first one. Just click on pause for that one. We go to all campaigns and we go and create our second one. In this campaign we are going to call it shopping and we call it branded. Our target is medium. Do the same. Small pound. There we go. Save and continue. Oh, select the country. There we go. And that's fine. So now in our account we have got two campaigns. The one that is targeting generic keywords and one that's targeting branded. The generic one is set to priority high, the branded one is set to medium and if you want to target the IDs then you select this one, uh, create another campaign and you set the priority to low. <clears throat> so the, the bidding would be then for example for the generic one uh, let's say a half a pound uh, for the branded ones one pound and maybe if you go and target the product IDs you can assign one pound fifty. Now I've set up already with one of my clients so we are gonna show the progress on this one here. So we've got our normal ad group and we've added all the products in there and what we want to do is in the keywords now there's a little bug in Google AdWords at the moment that you have to refresh the keywords tab in a PLA section which is a little bit silly but uh, sort of a little wait. Okay so in this campaign the generic one that I'm highlighting here we want to add as a negative keyword the car ride, the odyssey and the Thule, which are exact uh, phrases for branded search terms. Then in the negative keyword list we can also assign a generic uh, shopping uh, negative keyword list. 
So if you have specific keywords that you do not want to target at all, whichever shopping campaign you are targeting, you can create a negative list and add all the negative keywords in here so that they're appropriately uh, associated to all the campaigns that you have set up. Otherwise, you have to manually add them on each separate tab, which is a little bit silly. So you can do this in the shared library. You create a, um, I will show you actually. So you go to campaign negative keywords and here you can create a new list. Each of these uh, search terms can then be assigned to um, the campaigns. So now that uh, you've added these negative keywords, each time a keyword with a phrase with the word Thule, Odyssey or Carite are triggered, will be skipped on this uh, campaign and will go straight to the exact campaign, which I will load here. So here is the exact one. There are no negative keywords, but there is a negative keyword list that I've associated to both campaigns, as you can see. So here we are in the exact one. All the keywords, search terms that are associated, not associated to, to um, that are associated, sorry, to Thule, Carite, and Odyssey, then these will land in this campaign. Now you can go one further step and start by adding um, the IDs. So for example, uh, off by hand, I know that this one is an ID for the product. Um, so once you add these as a, a negative keyword, <clears throat> then all search terms that have Thule and 591 will then go to the third and final campaign, which has the highest bidding, because these keyword search terms are more exact. So this is what we want to target. We want to spend more money on exact uh, keyword phrases because these are more converting for other campaigns than compared to other campaigns. So you've got, for example, the first campaign, you would only spend 50 cents, then uh, 75, and then the exact ones, which has the branded and the product ID, you would spend uh, one dollar or one pound fifty or one pound one dollar fifty so a much higher one now that we've covered on setting up the campaigns you can go one further step and uh, set up subdivisions within each of the uh, campaigns so i will show you this now which is up here so here we've got um, pretty much the high margin values, low margin and mid margin. These campaigns or ad groups have each uh, associated IDs. Now with this uh, client, we've added them actually manually, but the best way is by going to the product uh, or products and then choose custom labels. So this is what we want to do. We want to associate them with a custom label because then it's much easier to do. So in your data feed, you would, uh, for example, assign uh, best sellers or margin high, for example, and then associate that to custom label one. And you can just uh, select custom label one and add all the products in there into that ad group. Now, what you have to be aware of, that is that you have to always set everything else in all products to exclude. This has to be done so that no products will cross the ad groups. So if you don't do this, then all the products that are listed in here will have a budget uh, CPC assigned. But this is not what we want. We want to separate them. So let's go back. So you can see that the low margin also has a IDs assigned. Of course, it's much easier if you do it by um, the custom labels. And again, we've got uh, everything else in all products excluded. Um, so always make sure that you do this. Uh, this will then further uh, improve your bidding um, per subdivision and per search term. The final step in the uh, setting up this campaign is where we need to create a shared library budget. 
Uh, this is necessary to assign to both campaigns because, for example, if you have a normal shopping campaign and you have spent, for example, $140 for that uh, shopping campaign, now you cannot assign, for example, uh, each $60 or $75 um, for, for both of the campaigns. You have to create a shared library. And the reason is that if you do not assign a shared budget, then either one can run out at any point of during the day, which means that you will lose certain search terms that are very important to you. For example, if the uh, the uh, exact match, for example, if that one runs out, uh, but the, sh the generic one doesn't, then you've got more uh, spend budget for the uh, generic one. While if you create a shared uh, library budget, you can assign uh, both of them to, to one campaign, uh, one budget. And then, uh, which means that if, for example, something like the generic one is not as much popular, then all the budget will go to the exact or, for example, the ID one if you set up free campaigns. You can do this by going to your shared libraries and clicking on their budgets, click on view. You can then click on the big red button saying plus budget. Give it a name, give it a price, and then the delivery method is just normal. I'm cancelling that for now and then you can assign it to uh, your campaigns so you can just click on uh, uh, this here and then apply and uh, assign it to your campaign so that is very important that you do this and not assign uh, a normal budget uh, per ad uh, per uh, campaign and that is pretty much how you set up a very effective campaign well, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, I suggest if you have any questions, is uh, go to the uh, tutorials that uh, has already been written by Search Engine Land or go to the original guy, or you can ask me. Uh, I'm more than happy to help you with all your queries. And uh, I hope this video has been useful. And thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time.